Chase Bryant. I'm Chase Bryant. I'm a country music singer, songwriter, artist. And before we get into Way Out West Fest, tell us about your start in country music and what your biggest inspiration has been. You know, I grew up in South Texas. I mean, I grew up on everything from George Strait to, golly, Randy Rogers Band, Jack Ingram, and all the great Texas guys. Um, I grew up around country music as a kid, and it was always kind of just exposed to me. And um, I feel like it was sort of just a destiny for me to 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 be set out to play country music. And um, so I, you know, I got my start out in LA actually when I was 16 years old, signed my first record deal out there. And then um, went to Nashville when I was 18 and and signed my, signed another record deal with a company called Broken Bow. And we had some success together with songs like Take It On Back and A Little Bit Of You. And um, just kind of been trucking along ever since. And is this the first time you'll be performing in Way Out West and El Paso? I believe it's my first time playing that festival. Um, I know we've been out to El Paso before. We used to go out, play out in Las Cruces, New Mexico, obviously just across the border there um, on the New Mexico line. But um, it's been a while since we've been in El Paso, so I'm looking forward to it. We're looking forward to having you here. And what song can your fans expect to hear as your opener? Or is that a surprise? Ooh. Who knows? It changes by the minute. We always have a set list, but it never really sticks. It's like things just kind of happen. I mean, we're playing a lot of new music. We have been playing a lot of new music lately, but I think, you know, lately we've been starting with Take It On Back. We like to be starting with something that's familiar to everybody. So that's probably going to be the opener. And what has been your favorite song to create and perform? Um... I mean, the hits probably just because, you know, everybody knows them. But um, I mean, I've I've really enjoyed making these past couple records, you know, like I've got one with Jack Ingram called Small Town, which is a lot of fun. There's a song we've been playing live lately that I've I've really enjoyed playing called Friday Night that I wrote many moons ago. But um, it's on Wade Bowen's newest record and he got that out and. So I've kind of been playing it just in lieu of that, but um, that's kind of been one of my favorites to play lately, even though I've never actually put it out as an artist. I just wrote the song. And you mentioned new music. So can you share a little bit about that? Like any that you have in the works? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm working on a record right now. I put out three EPs this last year that were kind of cut all over the place. I put out an EP called Somerville, which is a, you know, a collection of songs I kind of started writing out in South Carolina, the, my, my wife's hometown. And then um, and then uh, I made a record called Ashland City, which was kind of a short stint of some time we spent back in Nashville for a couple of years and bought a little farm house outside of town there. Um, and then Coyote de Gruyo, which is a, a project I cut back home on the on Baffin Bay in Texas when I was living down there during COVID. So those are the three EPs, you know, you can kind of go look for on Spotify or Apple or, you know, wherever you stream music, buy music. And um, and we're working on another record now, so can't say a whole lot about it, but, but you know, really looking forward to it being out. And what are you most looking forward to experiencing here in El Paso or during your performance? Enchiladas. <laughs> I mean, I'm in South Carolina now, so we don't really have anything for Mexican food, but... uh. You know, not like what I grew up on. So I, I really, honestly, I know that sounds cheesy, but no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, I, I love, uh, I love good Mexican food. So I'm really looking forward to that and and eating as much as I can. <laughs> but Where are you um, like originally also, just, from? I'm originally down from around Corpus Christi, like south of Corpus Christi, um, in a little town called Orange Grove, and then I lived on, you know, like in Rivera, Kingsville area. Um, so I grew up on, on all sorts of tex max, you know. Gotcha. And what is yeah. like the main theme or message you want your fans to get from your music? I mean, you know, I always try to write songs that make good times better and, and bad times good, I guess. It's like, I, you know, it's like I, I, I try to just write songs that relate to people. But, you know, in the in the last, you know, few years, it's just been more about just letting people you know 
wanting people to really connect to my music from a message standpoint. And I try to add songs into my set to do that and just kind of, you know, reliving nostalgia in a way um, has kind of been like just a big thing for me, like how to have people connect to feelings that might take them back in time or, or may just relate to where they're at in their life now. But, um, you know, I just want people to have fun and, you know, hopefully a sad song gets somebody through something or maybe a, happy song makes the party even better i gotta ask since you're from texas are you a cowboys fan um yeah i mean look i am but you know it's one of those things where it's like my god we got to start doing something because it's been too long since we've you know been in a super bowl so i've been following along so it's just it's crazy what's going on yeah same i've been watching it and i'm like oh man I haven't been yeah doing i mean you know, I mean, the Texans look decent. I mean, I, I, you know, that's cool for them. But I mean, as a Cowboys fan, it's it's kind of it's kind of been hard to watch the past few years. I just don't know that we've I don't know. It's hard to say. Is it a head coach thing? Is it a I mean, I, who knows? Um, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. And what is your baby? Is it a boy or a girl? Um, we're having a girl. She'll be here in December. So that show that we're playing in El Paso is like my last show of the year. Just taking some time off to be home and, you know, do a few things before the baby comes. So um, it's our first kid and, and we're, you know, we're really looking forward to it. Oh, happy yeah. for you all. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And that's pretty much all my questions. Unless you want to add right. anything else. I think that's it. I mean, look, we're we're looking forward to coming back out there. I've always loved El Paso. I I think it's such a cool cool town, and and um, you know, we're we're really looking forward to coming out. And and um, all my guys are actually from Minnesota, so I'm looking forward to showing them a little bit of Texas for a few nights. So it'll be fun. Yeah, 